Welcome to my channel! I'm Moon, and I'm going to be playing Rising Angels Reborn. I believe it's a text-based simulator with anime. Alright, let's get started. Alright. You never feel as much pride as the first time you are given command. An instructor at the academy once told me that. There's, there's something to be said about that. My first command was a listening outpost on some backwater swamp planet that didn't have an official name. I called it my watery hell. My command consisted of myself, two automated recording machines, and a virtual intelligence to manage the machines. I was alone during my stint as a lieutenant and a bereaved captain. The only thing that kept me insane were the games from my virtual system. I'm sure, pretty sure I managed to beat every single role-playing game I know to the galaxy. Sure, there haven't been very many made since the war of our survival started so many years ago, but still. When I signed up to the fight, I thought the Kajoni Defense Force would have been smart enough to send me to the front. Nope, I go to a watery hell with constant, constant mold problems. He sent my classmates, who were far less capable than I, to the front. Those losers got to command force, task force, and fight. And like I predicted, most of them perished with their commands. They were blindfold. Bleh. They were blind fools, idiots. <laughs> oh God! <sighs> if I would have been there, this war would. Could have been over by now. Instead, innocent people, brave warriors, and powerful war machines had to be sacrificed to some dumb tactical officers' bad battle plans. Not anymore. I've been watching the Loadmaster and her droids moving cargo for a few minutes. I might have to inquire if she knows anything about my welcoming party. As I walk up to her, I catch notice of her short stature and non-regulation issue hat. Great, she's a Hoban, or Haban, or whatever. During my academy and training years, I've never saw too many of them. While nimble and dexterous, they aren't what you'd call our A-class students. Most of them are as dense as rocks. Even now, she's smiling and waving at me with unprofessional excitement. No bearing, no discipline. Excuse me, but could I ask you a quick question? Certainly! How can I help you? I glance over her uniform and notice a small insignia that tells me she's a low fighting officer. If this is a short of profession treatment my forces give, I'm going to have a difficult time. So she's a member of the crew and someone I am going to have to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. I can tolerate it. Or, I can tolerate a little bit of it. I major Natalie Pusili. I'm looking for the bridge. You are almost there. Thank you for your assistance, flight officer. I'm glad to help out. If you get lost, I'll be finished loading soon and can show you around. That's kind, but I should be fine. Don't worry, Kaylee. We're here to show her around. Waiting at the end of the hall are a pair of major approached me. My real welcoming party, I guess. One of them is handsome. Pale-haired frying with large creamy wings and a soft cheeky look on his face. The other man? You've got soft over the years, Natalie. Maybe. I have. But at least I haven't gotten lax with my support. Letting a kid load all these supplies by herself? I expect better leadership from you. Always thought you were a fleet during the degradation class at the academy. You're one to talk. I know you slept through the first aid course. I take it you two know each other? We graduated from the same academy class. Old friends. Is Major Heaven smiling? I know. This might be a sign of the Armageddon. I am just glad that someone could warm my wingman's heart. My name is Alipos T. 
Tenzil, Tenzil, Zen? You already know, so. Major Natalie, Priscilla, reporting. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Fly Officer Carrie Mig Miggy. I'm not actually a kid, I'm a hobbin. It's nice to meet you, Fly Officer Miggy. Though you could stand to listen to so a bit about professionalism, he's right about some things. I'm sorry, ma'am. It has been hard adjustment to military life. Keep at it. Be the best officer you can be. Yes, ma'am. I can see why you like her so. Hush, Major Tenzin. We need to get going and let Natalie settle in before Bozona gets her claws out. You mean Camander Rosona? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back to load the supplies, sir. Please. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Do you see what I have to go through? That's why I'm glad to see you, Natalie. So I can correct you as well? Here, let me take your luggage. Are you sure? Well, let's drop these bags off. I take a tour of the ship. It's small, but our work is cut off for us. I'd let him so let Zuri carry all of your luggage without even offering a single shred of help. Zuri can round can roundhouse kick me through a wall. Woo! Calm down now. She didn't need the help. Or killing. Uh, ugh. You packed light as well. Uniforms and basic healthcare items I packed just like the deployment list recommended. Most people don't listen to that. They seem to think we have plenty of space on the ship for things like dumbbells and personal effects. I was told that the list was the official record. You were told right. The force is growing so slack. Take care of it, for instance. <laughs> I don't think we could have had a better quartermaster. She's a wizard with our equipment. Nothing ever stays broken. If you need something, it is stocked on the next supply line. But you saw how she treats superior officers. She seems to think regulations and professionalism behavior matter. Doesn't don't matter, sorry. If you just do it well. You have those regulations for a reason. We deal with life and death decisions. You have to be able to know exactly what the person next to you is going to do. Exactly! You wouldn't believe how grateful I am to have someone here who understands that. Rizona, I don't know if I'm saying that right, just doesn't understand that being good and being a team doesn't cut it. Just doesn't cut it. Well, I'm here now. We'll start bringing the ship up to code. Damn right! So you really don't help or carry with her bags? It's okay, I manage. Well, you can help make it up to you by being, or by help finishing loading up equipment. I think that's the first thing we can bring up to code. Uh, ugh. Only for you, Natalie. I'll help Kale. Never ask for help when she needs it. Kaylee, Kylie. Let's show her the power of a trio of majors. I'm starting to believe that the gods may have blessed us with your presence here. If I can still move after this, I'll consider a green. Thanks, Sol. I'm only helping Kaylee. Ky 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 Kylie is our quartermaster. I wouldn't waste my time if some of those boxes didn't contain sticks. Dates from back home on Quinn. But then we are going back to the tour. No further delays, please. DL. Welcome to the bridge. It isn't much, but it's beats being stuck in my tiny corlet cockpit. <laughs> you flew fighters? Two years on the battlefront with the KSS and Zeon. Sounds exciting. Not when you get caught up in major conspiracy. Please tell me you aren't planning on overthrowing the board of directors while you're working here. My career can't handle another one. Whoa, what? 
On second thought, don't ask. <laughs> it brings up too many bad memories. Speaking of bad memories, where's your ball and chain? I thought you both and I thought you or I thought both you and Leah, Lena were going to be fighter pilots together. Don't ask. Was it that bad? Ask me when I've had a few drinks. You don't drink, so don't ask me again, please. Sorry. Bad memories, Ned. I never thought befriending mucks could ruin my life in so many ways. Non-human related, or non-humans ruined your relationship? A muck. Major Hackett. We're, you were talking about a pet a friend of mine had. It turned out to be a rabbit dog. Then using the term dog, remember what I said. If I heard you just barging your fellow servicemen again. I do, ma'am. And what was it? Immediate discharge, ma'am. That is correct, Major Purcell. You would do well to know Major Hackett's lesson. We are a team here on the Nimros. We work as a single unit. I will do- I will not tolerate those who cannot act as a team on my ship. What is the only guiding principle that I must make clear? Yes, ma'am. My last experience with a- with a I- oh, wow. <laughs> Excuse me. SCIO was not a pleasant one. I hope not to repeat it. I bite my lip. Great. She's one of those commanders who have had a bad experience with our organization in the past. Sure, some of us may be a little cutthroat and determined, but we get results. The stories I've heard from my instructor were brutal. Selling out your command for success was common, not an exception. I don't believe in that mentality. There are limits to how far you can go before you become the monster you are fighting to destroy. Never will I sink that low. You have nothing to fear from me, Commander. Earn my trust, Miss Major Prince. Pursue. So we want to give it to you, but you need to prove yourself. I will. Damn it! I completely forgot to report in. Major, major, the ma'am, Major Natalie Crucible reporting in. I am the special investigation. I'm. I am the special investigations and tactical officer assigned to the KSS Nimros. Hmm. Welcome to my ship, Major. She is one of the best tactical officers in the force. I read the training report. Top of your class, correct? Yes, ma'am. How many fail? Uh, how many? How many failed out of your class? Huh? Around forty percent. And the average is twenty. What do you think? What do you think that happened? Why do you think that happened? Lack of dedication. They are not cut out for the service. And what do you, what did you do to help them pass? Everything you could, am I right? Uh, oh, oh. We fight and die as a team on my ship, Major. Earn my trust. Yes, Commander. Alright, well, I think I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to pause it right here, and thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs it up if you did. Um, I know my reading was kind of sucky, <laughs> but uh, hopefully I'll approve. I'm trying to do voices, so please comment, suggesting, whatever. Thanks.